Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch and Maverick. He showed up before I even hit the button today. Hi. Hey, little sleepy baby. He's been up with me for a minute now and he's still all sleepy, huh? I want the eye boogies. I want them. It's like a constant battle with the eye boogies with him. Um, welcome to day 25 of Vlogtober. Oh, now you're going to lean against me and just be sleepy down here? Okay. That's okay, I'll give you pet pets. It's nearing time for his feeding, and he knows it because I've been I have been up and I have had like my squares done, which is like my prerequisite for coming in and chatting with you guys. But I've just been I've been enjoying the fact that it's it was my day off uh, for Thursday, and I've been enjoying the fact that I have Friday off. Um, and it was like it was just such a lazy, relaxed day today. It was it's, it's just unreal. Um, we were going to do, we were going to do a live this last night. Like when I say tonight, remember I'm talking Thursday, even though I know it's your Friday. Um, cause I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> um, we were going to do a live tonight, but like some stuff came up, um, on Little Miss Courtney's end, um, which is okay. Like <laughs> something seems to come up on, on like her end or my end or both of our ends. We've just had this or that we're going to get our act together um eventually <laughs> um eventually um one way or another <laughs> her internet's going to finally start working or i'm going to finally you know stop hurting or <laughs> the stars are going to align or eventually we're going to get our act together but uh but yeah so i just like i said i slept in today so like check that off my list of to do things um david ended up just like chilling um i feel bad for nate because he was going to come shopping with me because there were some things he wanted to pick up at the store so i was going to go pick him up actually instead of him meeting me here today and uh he didn't feel good. So like now we're kind of wondering uh, if it was something that we ate. Remember I said last night I didn't feel great. Um, well, he didn't feel great today. So, and since we, we had lunch together yesterday, like at work, uh, we ended up getting food out and eating the same thing. I'm wondering if it's something that we ate, but then, but then David didn't feel well. So like, as opposed to something we ate, maybe, maybe one of us brought a bug and since Nate and I are around each other and, and David and I are around each other, like they might not spend a lot of time around each other, but that I'm a common factor. <laughs> so I might've passed it along to somebody. I, I don't know, but if it was something like that, it was just a little bug because like I feel better today. Um, so hopefully they both feel better tomorrow. Um, and it wasn't anything like, I mean, Nate's just got an upset tummy. David just didn't feel great, uh, in the same way. So he wasn't like anything like he didn't like catch pneumonia or, you know, any, anything like that. They just both had the same TMI description of as last night, basically. Uh, <laughs> so it's almost like, but David doesn't eat the same food as we do. Like he's, he's a very light eater I guess I could say like I want to say picky eater but it's not so much some of it isn't just because he doesn't like food he's got this man has got like food allergies up the wazoo and then some stuff it isn't that he's allergic some stuff is that straight up he just doesn't like it so some things he is picky about and then like in a third category it's not that he's allergic and it's not that he's picky but it's that um, when he was a kid, he had gotten really bad food poisoning and then he was on medication because the food poisoning like almost killed him. And then um, the medication, I think, I'm guessing it was like a steroid or something. I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what kind of stuff they can give you when food poisoning nearly kills you, especially like old time medicine because, you know, he's not like a kid. So, you know, it's not a, new, a newer medicine stuff evolves they've made mistakes back in the day <laughs> um and it was in europe you know back then so 
may be different from stuff we may have gotten here. I, who knows? I don't know. Um, whatever it was, anyway, had, had kind of messed up his stomach a little bit further. <laughs> uh, so there's just certain things that like really tend to make him sick. Um, but not like an allergy, just they, he's sensitive to it. So he just avoids it. You know, he really just has like a diet of really plain food. Uh, like he doesn't eat condiments on it. Like as an example, if he eats a hamburger, it's just, it's a plain hamburger, you know, like he doesn't eat ketchup, mustard, not pickle or onion or anything. And some of the things on the hamburger he's allergic to, some of the things he doesn't like the texture of, and then some of the things upset his stomach. So it's like a mixture of all the things, you know, uh, it's not just boiled down to he's a picky eater <laughs> but um but he doesn't even eat at the same places as us because we're at work and he was at his own work and um so I don't maybe it's just bad timing of we all just you know ate something weird like I don't who knows maybe he was having sympathy sickness for me I don't who knows <laughs> but uh but yeah, so we ended up having a lazy day, like, um, both of us felt good enough to eat, so, you know, we ate today, we had Subway, so we went and got some Subway today, and, uh, other than that, he just chilled around at the house, well, I don't know what he did before I woke up, <laughs> um, because I know he went and got, like, just some stuff for the house, like some drain cleaner and stuff like that, um, Because when I got up, he just said I didn't have to add that to the grocery list. And then I went grocery shopping tonight. Um, I decided to pick up one bag of candy because I figured, like he said, you know, we'll be on vacation. So if between now and then I think about it and decide we might get more kids than, than previous years or something, we could always get more. But like, when I lived, when I was married and lived in a different town, we got so many kids and it was a much smaller town. We got so many kids. Um, and I, I love that. Like, that's not a complaint. I love that. We would run out of candy every year and like, I kept upping the amount of candy that I would buy. And, you know, like, um, and it wasn't because I'd give out, well, the first year, maybe I was guilty of it because I didn't know how many kids we would get, you know, but I would give out like hand, maybe not like handfuls, but you know, like way more than normal, you know, just cause I'd be like, Oh, you're so cute. What a cute costume here. You know, like have like 10 pieces of candy or whatever. <laughs> um, but I don't know, just we got so many and I, I'd buy like multiple, multiple, multiple bags of the, you know, like the big variety Halloween candy bags and stuff. And, um, it got to the point in that town where I was buying like a, when Halloween candy would first come out, I'd buy like one or two a paycheck and, um, kind of hoard those up to make sure we had enough candy and everything. And sometimes we'd still run low towards the end and I'd have to give out just a couple pieces and stuff because we, we'd have so many like people from other towns, I think, would come because it was it was a small town and uh, like I, no complaints. So I like I love I love that stuff. I, I could give out candy all night long. Um, and in this town, we get hardly anyone and it's it's a much, much bigger town. Um, now, granted it's a vacation town and a tourist town. So like, I know some of the houses are empty, but like even population at this time of year, it's much bigger than the other town that I lived in. Um, now one thing that sometimes I forget is sometimes they change the day of Halloween trick-or-treating, which always irritates me because <laughs> I'm a big believer in, I, and some of you may feel differently and that's okay, but I personally am a big believer in trick-or-treating on Halloween, no matter what day of the week it is. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are probably fans of uh, the trunk or treating. And I'm just, I'm a very traditionalist Halloween person <laughs> with the door-to-dooring and stuff. Uh, my kids did the door-to-dooring, you know, like our, our kids here, like, and they're too old for it now. Um, they don't go trick-or-treating anymore. 
I don't, well, I don't think there's anything such as too old, but they have deemed themselves too old long ago, um, for it. I wouldn't complain if they went. I wouldn't have to take them anymore. They're definitely too old uh, for that. But but I would if they wanted me to. <laughs> um, anyway. But, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like the traditionalist. We always took them around and everything to houses. Um, like, broke my heart. One of the community um, Facebook groups that I'm in somebody just basically said like why don't we just open main street for x amount of hours and and just have a big trunk or treat area and um just basically outlaw halloween trick or treating and I was like <sighs> and like I went to the comment section of that cuz I was I was expecting just an uprising of hate comments and there were so many people that were like yeah I really feel like it tires the children out to go door to door and you know, it's, it's so hard on the kids. And I have to honestly say I wasn't expecting that even for people who are fans of the trunk or treating, like I kind of expected a few people to say like, yeah, it's much safer. Um, I did, I don't want to say that I agree specifically with the, uh, the people that were making a point of there being a lot of vacation homes. So people didn't know where to go to because like, if the lights are off, obviously don't go there. But <laughs> the people aren't leaving their porch lights on when they leave for whole seasons at a time. You know, I can tell you that where the dark neighborhoods are. Don't go there. But, um, but like, I see their point of, like, okay, you know, there are maybe if you live surrounded by those areas, like, maybe that's a little discouraging, you know, where parents might have to drive their kids out further or something. And, like, I do get the parents that are either have, like, really small kids or just naturally more worrisome than others where it's, they feel like it's more dangerous, I guess. I, I understand that. I, I never let, like, it's easy to say nothing happened to my kids because then for everybody that says that, there are parents in the world that something has happened. So, I mean, that's insensitive. I get that. Um... And there's a whole rabbit hole to go down. I, I get that. But, I mean, there are still viewpoints and opposing viewpoints for a reason, I suppose. Um, but, I, I don't know, it just it broke my heart to, for anybody. Like, in our town, nothing dangerous has happened like that. You know, there's no been no child snatching at Halloween time and stuff like that. Um, as far as I know in the history of our town... There has not been, like, the great Halloween snatching or, or, you know, you know what I mean? Like, no, did you hear what happened to this kid this year, you know? So, I don't, in fact, in any of the surrounding towns around here, I'm, I don't recall anything like that. Like, maybe in, like, a big city, there was a teenager, I, I do recall, that something happened to, but that ended up being their friends and foul play with their friends uh after the night of drinking um but that's a whole other story too obviously it's not the same thing that's like another rabbit hole but I, yeah i don't know i would i would hate to see that just kind of feels like the death of halloween to me which that that's like such a bummer <laughs> um Wow, I went off on a big old tangent trying to tell you like what I did today and going into Halloween candy and that just ending up here. How did we get here, right? Like that's that's how I guess, but <sighs> yeah. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Trunk or treating? Trick or treating? I'm assuming you're Halloween fans if you're here. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe you just like my bright and smiling face. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. It just the thought makes me sad. Now I sound all choked up. I'm just dry mouth. <laughs> I've just been talking a while because I've been chit chatting with Maverick, honestly, out there. So he's been worked up because it's raining. It's got this beautiful, heavy rain going on tonight. Um, but yeah, anyway. So. And, you know, I'm happy that I beat the rain home tonight. Before the rain, <laughs> uh, I did get 
hopefully uh, I remember to put it in, but I did get a uh, the lit up yard with the solar lights actually on for the most part there were like a couple little lights that didn't uh that had already gone out but you'll get the idea at least more with the the pumpkin lights on and stuff like that um the pumpkins themselves are still not carved i, I imagine that won't happen till part way through our vacation so they stay a little bit fresher because we don't like to do anything to preserve them maverick Psst. Come here, baby. It's just the rain you're hearing out there. It's okay. It's okay. That bothering you tonight? Is that rain bothering you tonight, huh? You think it's someone out there? It's okay. But don't wake your daddy up, okay? You don't have long to sleep. <laughs> um, we don't do a lot to preserve the pumpkins because I like the thought of the wildlife eating the pumpkins and stuff I don't I don't want to hurt anything that might eat them so we don't spray anything and the only thing that I might do is add a little bit of uh, pumpkin spice to the lid so the candles scent the yard out there I really love that um, but yeah so those won't get carved until a little bit later so they look really nice on Halloween night ah <sighs> so that was my day how was your day? <laughs> Are you guys getting ready for like anything fun for the weekend? Um, tonight is Good Mythical uh, evening. So I know I already talked about that a little bit. Um, I know a few of you guys out there are Rhett and Link fans. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I wanted to get the... Uh, what I always do just saying and most of you probably don't do the good mythical evening thing so you would be like what are you talking about but they always do a post and a, a pre and a post show and I almost always just go I'm just gonna watch the actual show I'm not gonna buy the pre or the post show because it's a little bit extra for both and this year and, oh, and then I right beforehand I always last minute I buy the pre-show I watch the whole thing, I watch the show, and then I go, oh my gosh, I loved everything, I'm just going to buy the post show. <laughs> and I end up buying them anyway. This year, they don't, they don't give you that option to buy them separately or anything. Uh, you have to buy the bundle. So you have to decide beforehand, <laughs> or your SOL. <laughs> uh, so I just, I did, and the bundle, uh, if you buy it, comes with like a t-shirt, everything that gets sent to you. So happily, I am getting a good Mythical Evening t-shirt, which I, I have never bought the bundle beforehand, so I don't have the previous years. So I'm really excited about that. So, yay. Um, yeah, but that, that, that was my day. That's what I have done today. Um, and that's how my weekend is shipping up. And then I have one more day of work, basically. And then I'm off for... Technically, I'm off for my two days of regular days off. And then my vacation starts. But I mean, tech, really, Sunday starts my vacation. So... And then I hopefully will be starting to do some Halloween-y things. Um, every year I talk about going down that place called butcher road to see if anything like creepy happens while we're going down it and like david never really wants to go but uh nate said that maybe he'll go with me so maybe we could take you guys i kind of want to go during the day at first and like see what it kind of looks like down there so maybe we could film going down there and then going down at night maybe one of the nights we could do that I talk about it every year though, so we'll see if we actually get to do it. That'd be really fun. Um, it's really close by to me, so I mean, it's not, I just something happens every year and we never end up doing it. Like, I don't, I'm not scared, but I just don't really want to go alone, like, because I'm skeptic that anything's going to happen, but there are, um, people have said that there are, act, like, not, not ghosts and things like that. Well, 
people have said there's ghosts too. That's not actually what I'm afraid of. But <laughs> um, they've said there's like actual people that because of people going down there, they uh, hide down there too and like wait for people to go down the road. And like I'm way less cool going down there knowing like I'm more afraid of real people than I am <laughs> anything supernatural. <laughs> so um, I'd rather not go alone. <laughs> Um, like it's possible that over the years that activity has calmed down. But, uh, but I don't know. So I'd rather take somebody with me at night. Um, and that's usually what stops me is the people end up not wanting to go. So we'll see. Maverick seems to be up to no good. What are you doing? You playing with your toy out there? <laughs> anyway, it's getting really close to feeding time, so I probably should get on with my, <clears throat> excuse me, with my squares. Um, my Stranger Thing Advent Squares. Today we had, sorry, sorry, before the picture flash the name. We had Dustin Henderson, my <laughs> Maverick, sir. Hey, do you, are you not a Dustin fan? Come here, Maverick. Hey, come here. Okay, or go there. He hears the rain. I know, I know that's what his issue is. Um, anyway. <laughs> or he's, saying mom stop talking and get your butt out here and feed me so dustin anyway <laughs> my favorite kid from the stranger things universe by far um i found the picture in uh his his uh camp uniform and that's the square that i did with the gold and the green which i've almost used up this gold scrap I don't remember. I think this one is a Joann's uh, value, Big Twist value in Varsity Gold. And then this is just a, a Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver scrap. And I still have more of that. So so if we can find something else. And then I did reverse. But if I can find something else to use the green in, that would be great. But almost all of this gold is gone. Like I might be able to squeeze out something in the middle or or so. Get two middles out of it or something. I don't know. So here's his Dustin at Summer Camp squares. So the pile is growing. Should try to even see now that I spread them out into separate piles, it's gonna bug me when they're different heights. <laughs> Unless the first pile's taller so that the second pile can grow to meet it. <laughs> I know, I have a weird thing with organizing. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so let's draw for tonight and then go feed Mr. Hungry Pants out there. I think his internal clock just knows. Maybe since this will be my second day off in a row too, I can get my Heather squares done because since it's my fanfic with Stranger Things, I definitely still want to get some Heather squares made. All right, this seems like a good one. What do we got here? Yes! Perfect to follow Dustin with. We have Steve Harrington. Steve, right here, picture going up. I love Steve. Steve is my second main man in this uh, Stranger Things universe, um, which I know is a weird pairing considering how much I also love Hopper, who's my number one main man, obviously. But uh, Steve is definitely my other my other main guy. Um, I love him. I love his character growth in the entire series. Uh, I love the fact that, uh, possibly a little known trivia, he was actually supposed to not make it past season one. Um, when the scene came up that he saved Jonathan and Nancy from the Demogorgon in Jonathan's house, that was actually supposed to be Lonnie. 
uh, Jonathan's dad that saved them. Uh, Steve was supposed to get killed off. Um, I think it was a good choice they made bringing Steve along for the ride um, and letting him grow. Uh, he was a good choice following Dustin because of their little budding bromance that has been going on throughout the show now. Um, he's kind of like taking Dustin under his wing and um, kind of being that older brother or almost father figure. He's, he's a little young for father figure, but almost, you know, kind of for Dustin. Um, yeah, just best buddy type of guy. Uh, definitely not the like jerk jock that he was in season one. So Steve has definitely come around and won over the hearts of millions. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So I will get his square done. And like I said, hopefully get a Heather square done also. So on that note, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to feed little man out there before he gets too much more demanding. And then I'm going to try to get him to go outside in the rain. We'll see. I think the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get wet because I'm slower getting back inside than he is. And he's just going to be unhappy with me. So <laughs> wish me luck, you guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.